What is Windows Server and how Active Directory is related to Windows Server? A Windows Server is a specialized operating system developed by Microsoft for managing and running computers and networks in business and organizational environments. So this is its own operating system. Like you have your Windows 10 or Windows 11, it is an operating system which you install on your computer or you could install it also on some virtual machine. Well, Windows on your personal computer computer like Windows 10 or Windows 11 is built for personal use, the Windows Server is designed to support large-scale operations, providing tools to help organizations manage resources, store files, run applications and allow secure access to data and applications. And here are the key features of Windows Server. File and Data Storage Windows Server can act as a file server, meaning it stores, organizes and shares files across a network. And employees in an organization can access shared folders from any authorized device on the network. User and Access Management With Active Directory, which we will discuss a bit later, Windows Server helps helps manage users and permissions. Active Directory allows an organization to control who can access certain files, applications or parts of the network, making it easier to keep data secure. Centralized Control Windows Server provides group policy, which allows IT administrators to manage settings for multiple computers at once. For example, an admin could set up a policy that applies to all devices, such as requiring strong password or only allowing certain software to be installed. Running applications and websites. Windows Server supports various services like IIS or Internet Information Services that allow it to host websites and web applications. This feature is widely used by businesses to run their websites, intranets and other internal applications. Virtualization with Hyper-V. Windows Server includes Hyper-V, a tool for creating virtual machines or VEMs. This is a useful for businesses that want to run multiple virtual computers on one physical machine, helping them save costs and efficiently manage resources. And here is an example how Windows Server is used in an organization. Imagine a large office where employees need access to shared documents, printers, applications and secure internet connections. Instead of setting up each device individually, Windows Server can manage all these tasks from one place. Here is a simple breakdown of how it might work. User Logins Each employee has a unique login ID managed by Active Directory, ensuring only authorized personnel can access specific files. File Storage Important documents are stored centrally on the server, allowing employees to access them from any authorized device. Printing. Employees can connect to shared printers that the server manages, reducing the need for individual printer installations on each device. Internet and email. Windows Server also integrates with email and web services, enabling safe, shared access to email systems and business applications across the network. Why Windows Server is different from personal Windows? The main difference lies in its purpose and capability. Windows Server is designed to handle multiple users, manage large amounts of data and run many applications and services simultaneously. It's a robust platform for centralized control, enabling collaboration and keeping business data secure. In short, Windows Server is like a backbone of business IT environment. It makes it easier to manage users, store files, host applications and ensure security, which are critical functions for any organization looking to streamline their operations and protect their resources. And here is a quick comparison of Windows Server with Active Directory. As many new users to Windows Servers and Active Directory have a confusion here. So Windows Server and Active Directory are not the same thing, though they work closely together. Windows Server is an operating system for managing network resources applications and data in an organization. While Active Directory is a specific service within Windows Server that helps manage users, devices and permissions on the network. In other words, Windows Server can do many things, 
file storage, applications, hosting, etc. While Active Directory is just one important feature that Windows Server provides for network and user management. And Active Directory is not automatically installed or set up on Windows Server. It must be set up as a role within the Windows Server operating system. During installation, an administrator can install and configure Active Directory domain services ADDS, which creates the necessary structure for managing users, computers and security permissions on the network. Here is how it works. Installing Active Directory or install ADDS as this is Active Directory Domain Services but it is widely called only as Active Directory. The Active Directory Domain Services role is added via the Server Management Dashboard in Windows Server. Promote server to domain controller. Once AD or Active Directory is installed, the server must be promoted to a domain controller, which is a server that manages AD related tasks like authenticating users and managing devices on the network. This setup enables Active Directory to operate on a Windows server, allowing it to manage network resources, policies and access across the organization. <music>